Welcome to EE Know How. In this video, we would look at uh, the truth tables for the most commonly used digital logic gates. So, let's start with uh, an inverter. So, symbolically, inverter is represented like this. So, what it does is it has an input, say, A, and an output, Y. And what we do not show in digital um, circuits is basically the power and ground for this inverter. So they are usually connected to VDD and ground, but we don't show it in the symbol usually. We just show it like this where you have an inverter that is taken for granted the VDD and ground and uh, so you have A and Y. So what it does is if you look at the truth table of the inverter so you have A, Y. If A is 0, Y is 1. And if A is 1, Y is 0. What does this really mean? What is 0 and 1? 0 and 1 are the VDD levels. 0 is 0 volts. And 1 is VDD volts, whatever is the VDD level. So it could be say 1.2 volts or it could be as high as 5 volts. So 0 and 1 mean basically the VDD levels. So this is the truth table for the inverter. Now let's look at the most commonly used gate that is the NAND gate. NAND gate has A and B two or more inputs. So I'm just showing you the truth table for the two input uh, NAND gate. So you have the inputs A, B and Y. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. These are all the possible combinations. So for an AND gate, so now the invert of this NAND gate is an AND gate. So, but this is the basic gate and we build AND gates out of these NAND gates. So an, an AND gate is built like this. So you have the NAND gate and you have an inverter after that. So that becomes an AND gate. So this is A and B are the inputs. So this is the Y AND and this is the Y NAND. So this is a gate that's realized using an AND gate and uh, we have a another symbol to represent the AND gate. So we don't have the bubble at the output. So A, B and Y. So we will write uh, the truth tables for both the Y and 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 the Y AND here. So if you look at this, for an AND gate, when only when both the inputs are high, the output is high. Everywhere else, it is low. So for the NAND gate, so you have output is high or at 1 when at least one of the input is 0. When both the inputs are high or VDD, the output will be zero. So this is these this is the truth table for both the AND and the NAND gates. So now let's look at OR and NOR. So an NOR gate is represented like this. You have the two inputs two or more inputs. So this is Y NOR. And an OR gate is built using the NOR gate and with an inverter followed by after the NOR gate. So this is A, B and this is Y OR. And this whole thing is again symbolically represented like an OR gate without there is no bubble at the output A, B and Y. 
Now let's write the truth tables for the NOR and the OR gates. So you have A, B, Y NOR and Y OR. So all the possible combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1 and the OR gate, let's write the OR gate first. The OR gate is a gate where if any one of the input is high, the output would be high. And when both the inputs are low, the output would be low. So the NOR gate is just the opposite of the OR gate. So the NOR gate, the output is high when both inputs are at ground. And even if one input is at VDD, the output will be zero. So this is the truth table for the OR, NOR and OR gates. Now let's look at the other, the commonly used gates. Those are the exclusive, no, exclusive NOR and the exclusive OR gates. Exclusive NOR and exclusive OR gates. Exclusive NOR gate is represented symbolically like this. So it looks like an OR gate, but there is another uh, one more uh, symbol. It looks like more like a MOSFET gate separated from this. So A, B, and this is Y, X, NOR. And exclusive OR gate is represented symbolically like this without the bubble in the front. So you got A, B, Y, X, R. So what these gates do? Let's look at the truth table for this. So you have A, B, Y, X, NOR and Y, X R. So this also I have to let you know that they can be two or more inputs. It's not limited to two inputs. They can be two or more inputs. Now we put all the different combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So let's write the truth table for the exclusive R first. Exclusive R is what it does is it looks at both the inputs and if they are different it flags you know it, it, it gives an output a, a high output exclusive R. So what, what happens is if, if both the inputs are the same the output will be 0. So in both the 0, 0 and the 1, 1 case the output will be at ground. But if both the inputs are different then you get a high at the output. So this is exclusive R. So only one of them need to be high, then you get a high at the output. And exclusive NOR is just the opposite. When all the inputs are the same, you get a high output. And if the inputs are different, you get a zero at the output. So in this video, we looked at all the different gates starting from inverter, NAND and AND gates, then we also looked at the NOR and OR gates and we looked at the exclusive NOR and exclusive OR gates. This is the, the truth tables for those and then we also said that the gates usually the symbols do not show uh, VDD and uh, VDD and ground pins but really if you look at it the, all the digital gates have four inputs or four or more. Basically, if you connect the bulks of the uh, P channel and the N channel transistors that are used to build these gates. So, <clears throat> but they do not show the VDD and ground. And VDD and ground depends on what technology it is, what, what kind of digital library it is. It could be as low as one volt or even lower and uh, it could be as high as five volts for these gates. 
So uh, we also said that 0 means ground and 1 means uh, VDD. 0 means ground and 1 means VDD. So just to be go back to our electrical or relate to the electrical signals. So even though it says zeros and ones, it's really uh, either ground or VDD.